All right, this one's gonna be on a script I created for getting wallpapers. Uh, well, actually, it's a modification of the old one, but this one's for a different site. So this one is called DL. What was that one? Wallhaven. Okay. But uh, basically, you just run it here, and it should uh, get the wallpapers randomly from their website. So it's going to take a little bit to get all the links from their website. So we'll wait for it here. All right. But this one is a modification of the interface lift, which uh, I wrote like a couple of years ago. It actually still works. Um, so that's why I'm like, okay, let's try this one for this site. And it, it does work too. So here we go. It gets the wallpapers. And it's going to down to like the temporary folder. Uh, it will actually strip out the, I think the meta metadata of when it was created, and we'll, we'll put today's date. The reason for that is that we can use it as a reference point. So if you download today, uh, and you set it like uh, to delete after 30 days, so if you run the script again and it checks if um, that image was downloaded like uh, 30 days ago or something like that, it will actually delete it. So it's a little bit convenient. You can actually set this up in a cron tab and it will just automatically download new ones and delete old ones. So you don't have to do any work really. But I'll explain you the scripts once it's done here. Um, more detail, I guess. Anyways, uh, it's downloading. How long is it going to take? Maybe I should have done a. Done a uh, parallel or something and it will be faster for downloading but who knows we'll see uh, so that's it that's it for the script here and all the downloads uh, I set it to go to my wallpapers uh, folder so these are the ones that we just download you see all the ones that says today uh, that's the one we just download uh, all these wallpapers pretty simple not that hard anyways um, the script, uh, how does it look like? So the script is Wallhaven here. And let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Basically, the only thing you need to change in here, well, you don't really have to change anything really, but if you want to change to something, um, like where do you want the wallpapers to uh, save at? I like it to save it at my pictures and wallpapers folder and the expiration date so if you want to delete these uh, images uh, after like 30 days then you can set that if you want to put it five days or whatever it is you want to do you can just change this number uh, pretty much that's all you gotta do in here you know and if, if you want to put this automatically then you can set up in a cron tab but basically what it does is that it'll go to this site here this uh alpha dot wallhaven cc whatever and it goes to the random and this is um you know it'll actually give you random images if you reload so if i reload this website it will just give me random wallpapers and that's basically what it's grabbing because uh, every time you run the script it'll grab a new random wallpaper so you can run the script uh, multiple times and you have random wallpapers every time all right uh so that's what it does now this one, I did some stuff in here. So if the image is less than 200K, I, I usually delete it or something like that because usually those are below quality. And what else is here? So this one is to change the metadata. So it'll change it to the, today's date or whatever data you download the images. It'll say, uh, you know, it'll say it'll be that date. And we use that as a reference point. So it'll actually delete it uh, later on, once we run um, our script again, it'll check if um, you know that folder has or that image has been uh, over a certain amount of days. Then it will delete it. Okay, so that's how uh, this script works. Pretty automatic, in my opinion. Anyways, if you want to use this, uh, you can actually put in your cron tab or something like that. Set it however many days you want to run this, and that's pretty much it for the script to get random wallpapers from this site here and some of these images are really cool you know 
I mean, it's random, so you're, you're not really selecting any, but that's okay with me because I don't really care. I just want to see some new images uh, every couple of days or something like that. Anyways, uh, that's it. And if you want to put it as a random wallpaper changer, it really depends on uh, what desktop environment you're using, so I can't talk about that, you know, because all of them are different. But uh, all of them should have a random wallpaper changer or something like that. Um, and that is it automatically. Post you in the description, the script. That's it for this one.